Gallifrey won. So I didn't shoot any kind of interaction with the camera on day one uh, because I was wiped. Getting out here was a little bit of a nightmare. Um, short version, my early morning flight out of Boston was delayed because the crew was too tired and uh, there was no backup crew. I got moved to a 1 p.m. flight that now had two connections instead of just one. Ended up in Baltimore. Now, my next flight was supposed to go to Chicago for my last connection. There was bad weather in Chicago that was delaying my flight, which had the potential to make me miss my connection, depending on whether or not that outgoing flight was also delayed. And in the interest of avoiding that, they switched me to a direct flight to LAX from Baltimore. Why that wasn't done in the first place, I don't know. Uh, so I get to LAX, at which point I realize they didn't switch my luggage, my checked bags. So I had to wait another hour and a half or so in LA for those to show up. And so by the time I finally crashed in my hotel, I had completely missed the Thursday pre-launch party and I crashed and finally uh, hit the bed at about two in the morning. That's for the time here, which would make it about five in the morning, my time, as far as my body was concerned. So <laughs> getting here was a bit of a struggle. Since then, though, it's been great. I kind of forgot how much I love it here. And this this one especially, I mean, like, there's all the precautions. You had to have proof of vaccination uh, to get in. Everyone's masked uh, the whole time. If masks come off, it's very briefly under very specific circumstances. Uh, but it's been absolutely amazing. And... I didn't know if it was going to feel like less. I mean, it's it's not full capacity. They did uh, they did 80% of their normal capacity again as a as a COVID uh, concern. This is wonderful. I love it here. I love being around people who love Doctor Who as much as I do. Maybe not in the same ways that I do, but who cares? We all clearly love it deeply. And it's, it's phenomenal. And I've gotten a number of pictures uh, with, uh, with some members of the cast. Uh, the first day, I got one. I got one with Sylvester McCoy. And then uh, on the second day, at the time of recording, I've gotten signatures on two of these. I need to get them on the last one. But I had photos taken with Mendip Gill, Sasha Dewan, and Joe Martin. They were all great. Uh, they were all wonderful and, and pleasant. Like, and I do, if you are comfortable getting the picture taken with them, I do recommend like doing that and then having, and then getting something signed, even if you're not going to have them sign that specifically, because you have such a brief time with them when the picture's taken, it's like 10 seconds tops. And I, I talked to more than a few people who talked about, you know, oh, I, I wish I'd said this. And like, I was, I felt dumb. Well, you know what? you get a little bit more time when they're signing something for you. And it's like getting a second bite at the apple. Consider that to be my, uh, my advice on going to any convention where um, you intend to get a picture taken with somebody. So they, they've all been wonderful. And Joe Martin, this, this was, okay, this was one of two deeply surreal moments. Uh, Joe Martin, I get up next to her and she looks at me like, have we met before? I'm like, no. I, I wish we had, but no. And she's just looking at me like, I feel like I know you from somewhere. And no, it's not as mind-blowing as she watches the channel. She doesn't. Uh, but I had, she realized that it was from Twitter. And she had put out um, a tweet on the second anniversary of her playing the Doctor. And I had retweeted it with my show of support and loving of what she did. And she had liked that retweet. And she remembered, She not only did she remember that, that was like from a month ago. But she realized the reason she didn't recognize me sooner was because of the hair being in a braid. And my profile picture has my hair out. So the fact that she remembered some random person online who retweeted her her tweet with support 
from a month ago and like was able to realize on her own that's who I was. That what <laughs> That's it's strange and bizarre and amazing. That that was that was one of the highlights, absolutely. And like they were all wonderful uh to talk with. Um they they have they have done the ribbons again as always uh, a lot of the attendees now this year i did not uh, have the time or the money to get my own ribbons printed but i have uh i have been working the collection uh, last time i did this i was selective about what ones i actually put on um my tag which that's the other thing i had them do it as vera wild uh says nathaniel wayne on the back um but I actually had them put Vera Wild, which also felt nice. Last time I had them put Council of Geeks. Um, and yes, I have been writing that. I forget, like, if I go to a normal, I say normal con, like a more generalized con, like a comic con, I'll get recognized but maybe four or five times, maybe half a dozen if I'm lucky. I've lost count of how many people have recognized me at this, which is... <laughs> Again, wonderful and strange and bizarre and amazing. But I'm trying to think. Um, some of my favorite ones on here. That, um, Come on, Ace. We've got work to do. That was a good one. Home is where the TARDIS is. I like a lot. Uh, Vaxed Wax. Ready for Sycorax. Um, let's see. There, were, there was one other. Oh, I only use Sheffield Steel. That was a good one. Uh, oh, and <laughs> biting's excellent. It's like kissing, but there's a winner. These have been great. And of course, all the all the people, the cosplays. Oh my God! There was, see, I'm gonna say there was one. There actually was wasn't one. There was more than one. But I I put out a tweet. I snapped a picture of the meeping angel, and I put that on Twitter, which is now the most liked and retweeted thing I've ever put out on Twitter, ever. <laughs> So that's, but and like, but there wasn't just one. Today I saw three of them. <laughs> People are so creative and so wonderful and so lovely here. Uh, I've, I've been on a much tighter budget this time than I was last time. I haven't done nearly as much uh, spending. I bought uh, a couple of things, um, but actually not much. Uh, for me, for me, the stuff for me is the photos and the signatures. Um, but stuff that I've, I've gotten a few things for a few other people. Um, but even that, not, not too much. It's, it's much less about spending and it's much more about the experience this time. Which actually is something I need to try and do at cons in general. I'm, I'm very good at spending way too much money at cons as a general rule. As far as some of the other stuff that I've seen, um, I, I saw Sylvester McCoy. Um, do a panel with him talking. He is just delightful. I, I like, I could hear him talk all day. He just, he's so, he's got such bounce and energy just in his voice when he talks about stuff. It's, uh, it's a joy. I saw a panel that was Sasha Dewan, Mandip Gill, and Joe Martin talking about, you know, their experiences, uh, with the more recent stuff on Doctor Who. Uh, that was really good. I saw one with just Mandip Gill and, um... Uh, and that was hosted by uh, Riley Silverman, who I also got to see again, who I finally met in person uh, last time I was here. Um, and that one, that one was really nice. There was some interesting, there were some interesting things contained in that one, some of which I'm going to unpack in a later video. So uh, call that a, a tease, I suppose. So. Um, in addition to that, like I, I've met, um, what's new for me this year is I didn't have TikTok uh, last time I came to Gallifrey One. So while some people have recognized me from YouTube, a bunch of people have recognized me from TikTok. And that has been its own wonderful story. And I've met, so, and I've met some wonderful people from TikTok. Uh, Katie Angel so is a big one. Maddie Hoovian. Uh, was another who I, I ran into here who, who like I were people I already followed and I found other people who I now follow on TikTok um, and it's the energy the energy of being at 
this con. I kind of needed this. I'm 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 not I'm not gonna lie. This this has given me a, a boost and an energy and a reminder of the passion and the love of of what I do and of this franchise of Doctor Who in specific. There was there was one specific thing that happened that really blew my mind, like legitimately. So in addition to all of the people who uh, are obviously, you know, camera facing, involved in Doctor Who, who come to things like this, uh, the ones I already mentioned, Fraser Hines is here again. I, I had a picture taken with him uh, last time I came. Um, oh, uh, Gigi Edgley from Farscape, who played Chiana. She was here. She was actually the first person I got to sign stuff. I, I knew she was going to be here, and I brought uh, a Farscape DVD for her to, for her to sign. Um, and I got, I got pictures taken with her as well. So uh, she was here. She's never been on Doctor Who, but she was a delight. Uh, she was wonderful to talk with. So, um, th but there are a lot of people here, and a lot, there's a lot of writers. You know, Paul Cornell does... Uh, does things here every time he's here that are ridiculous and hilarious. Um, but one of the folks who's here is the managing director of Big Finish, a gentleman by the name of Jason uh, Hay Ellery. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I hope so. But um, he caught me in the hallway and told me he likes my videos. The managing director and co-founder of Big Finish watches my stuff. That, like, I, I, I kind of had to step outside for a minute after that happened. I, I, st I still don't know, like, what to say or what to think or how to fully process that. It's just, wow. <laughs> That's all I can say is, wow. It's it's a strange, amazing feeling to realize someone connected with something that you know I love and I talk about on a regular basis is aware of me and my stuff and enjoys it. Thank goodness. Oh. That was that was an absolute um, mind blowing um, eight seconds, <laughs> and it happened in the hallway. Some some people saw it, like, and he walked off. He he was headed somewhere else, and the people around me were like, "Do you, do you want me to fan you?" Because they saw the look on my face. Oh, and that okay. That was right after. Okay, one of the things Mandip Gill said during uh, the group. Um, panel when it was her Sasha Dewan and uh, Joe Martin is she said she hadn't seen any Yaz cosplayers and she said maybe it's because it's, it's California and, and uh, nobody wants to wear a leather coat and so this was just before the thing with Jason Hay Ellery so um, I was just talking with some other cosplayers there and one of them was dressed like Yaz and um, we were actually, you know, telling her that story because I can't remember if she had been at that panel or not, but we were talking about that. And then Mandip Gill walked by, stopped and saw her and insisted that they get a picture taken together because it was the first Yaz cosplayer she'd seen. And then when, you know, because she had somewhere to be, she walked off that cosplayer kind of had the same thing that I had that like, oh my God. <laughs> but, and like, that's the thing, the... The people who are part of the show, they, I, I'm not going to say that they mingle, that's an overstatement, but like, they do just pass through. It, they don't feel separated from the actual con goers. It feels inclusive. It feels like everyone's here for the same reason. And it's love of this. I'm so happy to be back here. I'm so happy I made it. I don't know if I'm going to do an uh, additional sort of sit-down update, depending on what happens tomorrow, which is the last day of the con. But for right now, 
Whew. This, this has been good. And just in case I don't shoot more, um, cause I, cause I'll have to catch a plane and maybe I'll be too wiped. Who knows? But just in case, I want you to know that all of you, especially if you were here, you are beautiful, you are valid, you are loved, you're the council. I'm just running the meetings and when I'm very lucky I get to meet some of you. If you want to support what I do, my entire ability to be able to come to Gallifrey One is thanks to things like my Patreon. But even if you don't do that, like, share, and subscribe help as well. Thank you so much, and take care. Laugh hard, run fast, and be kind. Patreon shoutouts! Thank you to Turok, Shane Ross, Oliver B, Melinda Walters, Robin Powell, Chronobulax, The Poodle, Edelon, Tracy Scrabbit, Dharma Michael Doyle, Vincent Paul Bartolucci, Angry Casparo, Adam Lefty Taylor, Robin Moore, Shayla Gourlay, and Bookworm. You can support me as well. Hear me mispronounce your name. I'm sure I got some of those wrong.